It's not even clickbait. I have a laser. Beep, 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 beep. Hi there, it's Kenny Joe, and I put my Ryzen 7 computer, probably worth somewhere in the area of $2,000, inside of a deep freezer. An old deep freezer that used to have a whole bunch of ribs in it. And then I took the ribs out, unplugged the freezer, put it under my stairs, and there was still water inside it after about a year. So that's pretty gross. But uh, that didn't hinder me from cleaning it with some bleach, really making sure I got all the water out of there, and then throwing my Ryzen computer in it to see if we can't freeze the ever-living out of it and get some better overclocking results. Uh, I'm an idiot. Here is putting your computer in a deep freezer. Is it worth it? Well, let's see how dumb I am. Computer has been off in this freezer while well, the freezer's been cooling down for the past hour. It was just taking too long for the temperatures to equalize with the PC on. Imagine it would take uh, hours and hours and hours and hours. So I turned the PC off, which is dangerous. There is moisture in there and it's freezing. And when I turn the computer back on, could be in for some trouble. It is 21 degrees Fahrenheit in this thing. Let's check it out. We're just gonna watch the temperatures because I'm worried that the coolant in my AIO might be frozen. Don't know. Uh, we're at seven already, so let's just hit uh, 40. Yeah, I wasn't able to boot with just hitting a 40 multiplier before. I don't know. That probably has absolutely nothing to do with it. Boot! <laughs> as long as there wasn't an issue there, if we get into Windows, desktop, 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 desktop. <laughs> Look at that. Four gigahertz in the freaking... So thermals are an issue. I think, oh, I'm at 11 Celsius on my CPU and minus four on my motherboard. And I'm at four gigahertz. Can we run Cinebench? Here's, I guarantee that this crashes. We're still at minus four on the motherboard, according to the BIOS. Um, I need this offset mode to go as high as it will. I am booting into four gigahertz again uh, with the voltages max, well, relatively maxed out. I have the voltages on my memory as well. Four gigahertz. And our voltages are at 1.362 at idle. We're running Cinebench. We're running Cinebench. 16, 16, it's lower. I got a 1700 Cinebench score. We're at 3.9243. My CPU temperature's up at 39 now. 17, 17 Cinebench score. I am getting so close to an 1800X performance here. I, oh, if I could get 1750, I'm gonna keep playing with it. Got another run rolling here. It's actually just over there. 1724. <laughs> the best part here is that my CPU idle temperature is my is five degrees Celsius four degrees it goes down and my motherboard stays at uh, one and I got 1724 don't fail me now <laughs> I might keep my computer inside of a freezer all the time oh, that seems fast come on come on come on 1739 can we keep going let it ride uh, 1800x performance, 1752 CB. We'll let it ride, man. We'll let it ride. When will it end? 
Oh no! <laughs> One degree Celsius on the CPU. <laughs> so the idea here is that as soon as all these temperatures get as low as possible with the fan speeds at maximum and the voltages I've put everything up by one notch we're gonna see if we can't run a Cinebench uh, at 4 giga, four gigahertz 0.5 fingers crossed 1760 freaking three. Oh my goodness gracious, that is insane. I don't think it's gonna do it. That Cinebench run though, that was bananas. I'm gonna load back into Windows and do, I'm gonna see if I can do the sleep mode, get her like minus 10, run it real quick, one time. Okay, one last hurrah. I want to explain how I did this. My motherboard only gives you a voltage offset, okay? So it only lets you move from 1.3 something up 0.2 or down 0.2. It doesn't give you specific values. Ryzen's, uh, and the same for the Asus uh, AI tweaking software, which I really like. It's straightforward, it does what the BIOS does, and it's limited by what the BIOS does, and I'm fine with that. Ryzen's Ryzen Master, however, does some weird stuff above and beyond all of that. And when I use it, it's typically confusing and doesn't work the way I want it to. And what's really weird is I set the, uh, some stuff in this. It didn't boot. It said, uh, then it rebooted itself. It said uh, that there was a problem overclocking. Hit F1 to continue. Go into the BIOS. I just skipped that. It loads Windows, and it loads Windows at the values that Ryzen says is possible with the volts higher than they're supposed to be able to go. I have the volts now set at 1.4 when my motherboard won't let it go any more than 1.38. And I've even seen it uh, go higher than this by mistake. And we're seeing the same thing in uh, the Asus AI tweaker. I've set it now to 4.1 gigahertz in here with higher volts and you can see we're almost hitting 1.4 there which is higher than is supposed I'm only supposed to be able to hit a certain amount uh, which is weird I don't even want to touch it um, my CPU is running at 7 degrees Celsius and I'm just gonna make sure everything is closed that could be taking up some of my CPU clocks we got 1.4 volts on there so I think we're we're set to do if volts was the problem, this should fix it. <sighs> so sad. In conclusion, you can get some really crazy performance out of a 1700 Ryzen CPU. Of course, the binning of the chip and the luck of the CPU draw is going to alter things. But if you, sorry, I taped it down. If you put your computer in a freezer and you have a really good motherboard, I wish I would have got an X370 chipset, I think you could theoretically hit 4.1 gigahertz and blast a Cinebench score of 1800. Okay, well, maybe. I might get another motherboard just to try this out. But my name is Timmy Joe and I hope you had fun with me today. I put a freaking computer in a deep freezer and it was fun. So have a good day and thanks for watching.